Imagine a world where the Ice Age never truly ended, a world where the colossal glaciers retreated, but the chill in the air and the presence of megafauna remained. Picture a landscape sculpted by ice, where survival is a daily dance with the elements and the creatures that command respect. The sun rises over cities, casting a golden glow on glass and steel, a familiar sight in our modern world. But even amidst the urban sprawl, the air vibrates with the distant, echoing call of a woolly mammoth, a sound that defies the concrete and whispers of a forgotten age. It's a reminder that the past is not so distant after all. Mammoths, majestic and immense, cave lions, fierce predators with a taste for survival, and giant deer, their antlers a crown of the ancient forests, still roam the wilds, their presence a constant reminder of the world that was. They shape the land and our lives, influencing our culture, our fears, and our dreams. Their existence dictates the rhythm of our days. Humanity is not the sole master here. We are not the apex predator, the unchallenged ruler of this domain. We are just one thread, a fragile strand, in a vast, dangerous tapestry woven with the lives of creatures both magnificent and terrifying. Every step is a negotiation, every breath a gamble. Our earliest settlements are not sprawling cities, but fortresses built to withstand the earth-shaking charge of a woolly rhinoceros, its horn a battering ram against our fragile defenses, or the unexpected curiosity of a giant ground sloth, its massive claws capable of tearing down walls in its quest for a tasty meal. Myths and legends are not just stories whispered around the fire. They are inspired by real monsters, lurking just beyond the firelight, their shadows dancing in the flickering flames, a constant reminder of the dangers that surround us. The wilderness is not tamed, it is not conquered, but respected and feared, its power acknowledged in every action, every decision. A walk in the woods is not a leisurely stroll, it is an expedition, a journey into the unknown. Every rustle of leaves, every snap of a twig, every distant howl is a warning or a wonder, a potential threat or a sign of life. The earth-shattering roar of a saber-toothed cat commands silence, a primal decree that stills the heart and sharpens the senses. The shadow of a teratorn overhead, a prehistoric bird of prey with a wingspan that blots out the sun, is both beautiful and terrifying, a reminder of our place in the food chain. Our culture, our stories, the very fabric of our daily lives are inextricably shaped by these giants, their presence woven into the tapestry of our existence. We grow up learning from a young age that nature is powerful, unpredictable, and awe-inspiring, a force to be reckoned with and respected. Every day is a lesson in humility and survival, a constant reminder of our vulnerability in the face of nature's grandeur. In this world, we are always in awe of the natural world and the creatures that inhabit it, and always on our toes, ready to react to the unexpected, vigilant in our survival. The giants of the past are not gone, relegated to dusty museums and faded textbooks. They are our neighbors, sharing our world and our greatest teachers, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of our place in the grand scheme of life. Consider the woolly mammoth, a creature of immense size and profound impact. These magnificent beings, once relegated to the distant past, now roam again in select corners of our world. They are nature's great gardener of the north, shaping the landscape with every step and every bite. Their grazing habits promote biodiversity and maintain the delicate balance of their environment. Herds migrate across tundra and forest, following ancient routes etched into the land over millennia. These migrations are not aimless wanderings, but vital journeys that distribute nutrients and seeds, ensuring the health of the ecosystem. In doing so, they are maintaining the mammoth step and supporting a rich web of life, from the smallest insects to the largest predators. Their presence is a keystone, essential for the survival of countless other species. As they reclaim their place in the modern world, highways close for migrations, a testament to their importance and our willingness to adapt. These closures are a small price to pay for the preservation of such an iconic species. Farmers build fences to keep out 10-ton titans, a necessary precaution to protect crops and livestock. This coexistence requires careful planning and mutual respect, ensuring the safety of both humans and mammoths.
Their presence brings challenges, requiring us to rethink our relationship with the natural world, but also benefits. They enrich the soil, creating fertile land for agriculture and supporting plant growth. Their waste acts as a natural fertilizer, promoting healthy ecosystems. They contribute to thriving ecosystems, fostering biodiversity and resilience in the face of environmental change. Their impact extends far beyond their physical presence, and they fuel booming ecotourism, attracting visitors from around the globe eager to witness these magnificent creatures in their natural habitat. This provides economic opportunities for local communities and promotes conservation efforts. We study their family bonds, learning about their complex social structures and the importance of kinship. Their close-knit families offer insights into the evolution of social behavior. We marvel at their intelligence, observing their problem-solving abilities and their capacity for learning. Their cognitive skills challenge our understanding of animal intelligence. And we trace their ancient migration routes, piecing together the history of the landscape and the movements of these colossal creatures. These roots reveal patterns of resource availability and environmental change over time. Living alongside mammoths teaches us about memory, the importance of passing down knowledge from one generation to the next. The elders hold the wisdom of the herd, guiding them through challenging times. It teaches us about community, the power of cooperation and mutual support in ensuring survival. Their strong social bonds are a testament to the importance of collective action, and it teaches us about respect, the need to appreciate and protect the natural world and its inhabitants. Observing them from a distance allows us to appreciate their majesty without disrupting their lives. Sanctuaries and vast parks protect their roaming grounds, providing safe havens where they can thrive without fear of human encroachment. These protected areas are essential for their long-term survival. Scientists observe them in the wild, meticulously documenting their behavior and studying their impact on the environment. Their research provides valuable insights into the ecology of the mammoth steppe. They are learning secrets of the Ice Age firsthand, gaining a deeper understanding of the past and its relevance to the present. The mammoths are living archives of a bygone era. Their deep rumbles are the heartbeat of the North, a resonant reminder of the power and resilience of nature. These vocalizations carry across the landscape, connecting them to each other and to the land itself. They are a living link to the past, connecting us to a time when giants roamed the earth. Their presence is a reminder of the long history of life on our planet. Our relationship with them is one of careful distance and deep reverence, a recognition of their intrinsic value and their importance to the ecosystem. We must strive to coexist peacefully, ensuring their survival for generations to come. Mammoths are a symbol of nature's enduring strength, a testament to the power of life to adapt and thrive even in the face of adversity. They inspire us to protect the planet and preserve its biodiversity for future generations. Now meet Smilodon Fatalis, the saber-toothed cat, apex predator of the Americas. Its 18-centimeter fangs make the night a place of caution and fear. Suburban life adapts, curfews, reinforced homes, and constant vigilance. Wildlife services become essential, blending technology and ancient tracking skills. Signs of a smilodon, a paw print, a guttural growl, are warnings to be heeded. Yet awe tempers our fear. A glimpse of smilodon is unforgettable. They remind us we are still part of the food chain. Living with such predators makes us more aware, humble, and connected to nature. The shadows they cast give meaning to the light. In their presence, we never forget the wildness of the world. Imagine, if you will, Megatherium, the giant ground sloth, a creature from a bygone era, a true behemoth that once roamed the earth. Picture it standing as tall as a giraffe, its massive frame towering over the landscape and possessing the bulk of an elephant, a truly awe-inspiring combination of height and mass. These slow-moving herbivores, with their deliberate pace, play a crucial role in reshaping forests, they are capable of pulling down trees, creating clearings that allow sunlight to reach the forest floor, fostering new growth. Now, imagine a sloth wandering into a modern residential neighborhood. It becomes both a spectacle, drawing crowds of curious onlookers, and a potential hazard, requiring careful management. In our modern world, power lines are often buried underground, a testament to our infrastructure. 
Yet, even the flow of traffic halts for their leisurely crossings, a reminder of nature's unhurried rhythm. Their sheer size and power make them nearly unstoppable forces of nature. And yet, their gentle nature and calm demeanor often earn them affection from those who observe them. Still, a threatened sloth is a formidable creature, equipped with powerful claws. Respect for their space is essential for everyone's safety. As ecosystem engineers, they actively shape their environment. They create habitats for other species and play a vital role in seed dispersal, contributing to forest regeneration. Ultimately, maintaining biodiversity within their ecosystems. Studying them reveals crucial insights into how large herbivores contribute to and sustain healthy, thriving ecosystems. They are living lessons in patience, demonstrating the value of a slow and steady approach. They embody power, not through aggression, but through their impact on the environment, showcasing the interconnectedness of all life. Their slow march shapes the land, leaving a lasting environmental impact and deepens our understanding of the natural world. In their presence, we witness firsthand the beautiful and essential cycles of growth, decay, and renewal that define the natural world. The skies and seas hold their own giants. Argentavis, the Teratorn, soars with a 7-meter wingspan casting shadows over the land. These birds are predators. Small pets and livestock are at risk, and aviation adapts to avoid them. Their flight is a breathtaking spectacle, a reminder of nature's grandeur. Beneath the waves, Megalodon reigns, an 18-meter shark, the ocean's ultimate predator. Our relationship with the sea is one of caution, shipping, recreation, and fishing are transformed. The mysteries of the deep are more profound, and the ocean remains a place of true wilderness. Megalodon is the sea's living legend, inspiring awe and respect. Both sky and sea remind us, we are never truly in control. Cities in this world are fortresses, designed for coexistence and defense. Greenbelts become buffer zones, deterring megafauna with dense vegetation or open ground. Highways and railways are elevated, allowing herds to pass beneath. Waste is tightly managed to avoid attracting predators and scavengers. Architecture blends with ecology, reinforced buildings, strategic parks, and animal-proof infrastructure. The city's scent is controlled, learned from hard lessons with hungry giants. Living with megafauna sparks ingenuity, blending the wild and the urban. Our cities and the wilderness are neighbors, learning to live together. In this world, our bond with animals is immediate and profound. Survival depends on understanding the creatures we share the land with. Children learn animal calls and tracks as basic skills. Art and folklore are filled with mammoths, cave lions, and sloths, real heroes and monsters. Biology and conservation are celebrated professions, vital to our well-being. Rewilding is a global practice, maintaining balance and preventing disaster. This bond teaches humility, we are part of nature, not above it. Every day we witness life and death on a grand scale, grateful for our place in the cycle. Our connection to animals is our greatest teacher. With wonder comes responsibility. Environmental stewardship is our foundation. Conservation is a global mission, requiring cooperation and vast protected networks. Our choices, what we buy, how we live, reflect our respect for the giants among us. Technology and lifestyles evolve to be sustainable, out of reverence for life. We are caretakers, understanding that all life is interconnected. This lesson is true even in our world today. We have a sacred trust to protect the tapestry of life. What can we learn from this imagined world? A renewed sense of wonder for our own. Our planet is still full of marvels. Blue whales, tigers, elephants, living links to the past. The legacy of the Ice Age lives on in today's wildlife and ecosystems. We must not take these creatures for granted. Their survival is in our hands. Let us be curious, learn, and teach respect for the natural world. Nature's beauty is all around us, waiting to be noticed. The forces that shape the giants still shape life today. Our journey of discovery never ends. Let's keep that spirit alive. What creatures fill you with wonder? Share your thoughts below. Your curiosity will guide our next adventure.